Hi guys, Dean Island Man here from MigratiPhone.com and the dev team have just released a new version of Red Snow which is Red Snow 0.9.11b1 and what this enables you to do is downgrade your A5 devices so that's your iPhone 4S, your iPad 2 and your iPad 3, the new iPad and um, downgrade their firmware from iOS 5.0.1 if you've updated to that accidentally down to iOS 5.0 and also the firmwares in between. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to do that. As you can see I've got my new iPad next to me just here and you should be able to see that I am running iOS 5.1.1 um, and the firmware number for that is 9B206. So if we head back over to the Mac, you can see here that I'm running Red Snow. And what you need to do is click on Extras, Even More, and then Restore. Now you're going to need to go into your iOS put IPSW to be restored. You click this, and then I want to restore to iOS 5.1. So click there, click open, you then get a pop-up to say to restore the firmware 5.1 on the iPad 3, the iOS for firmware 5.1.1 is also required. Click OK and then locate that firmware. So if I go into here and then locate the firmware, saying that it's going to put my device into recovery mode, so you should be able to see that it's popping it into recovery mode there, and then it asks what blobs that I want to use. So I'm going to go for remote, use blobs to restore, click on remote, and it should be now fetching those blobs straight from the server, and it's going to load those. So we're just going to be waiting for it to stitch the blobs. Once it's done that, we'll come back and go through the rest of the procedure. So there you can see it's stitched the blobs, it's now uploading the IBEC. And what this version of Red Snow does, it actually updates to the latest version, which my iPad 3 was already on, 5.1.1, and then downgrades it back. So it does actually update the baseband. And there are warnings from the dev team that if you rely on an unofficial unlock, then you shouldn't be using this um, to downgrade your devices because you won't be able to use mm -hmm those unofficial unlocks. So we're just waiting for Red Snow to do its thing right now. And while it's doing that, we'll come back in just a second um, to see how it's getting up. So it's just going through the restoring the system image right now. So it looks like Red Snow 0.9.11b1 has done everything that it needs to do. And then it's just doing the last few bits. It's just restitching the blobs. You can see the device is back into restore mode. It's just waiting for the device again. It's still doing the last few little bits. It's now restoring the file system image once again. Once again, it's verifying the restore. So, so far this process has taken about eight and a half minutes to get to this point. So it's not the quickest of all processes at all, really. Um, but if you do require that downgrade, there's nothing out there that's going to be able to do this, especially um, for those A5 devices. So it's just checking the file systems right now. Okay, and then you get a pop-up saying your device was successfully downgraded to the iPad 3 5.1 firmware. If the firmware is compatible with Corona A5, it should be available to jailbreak from the first page of Red Snow 
once the device is activated. Now, obviously, the, um, the iPad 3 cannot be jailbroken with Corona A5 at the moment, um, but if you were running a different device, then you probably would be able to do that. Just click OK. As you saw, the iPad rebooted there. And there it is, my iPad fully launched. And then I just have to reset it all up as normal. So this has been our video on how to downgrade an A5 device. So that's your iPad 2, your iPad 3, the new iPad, and your iPhone 4S. Downgrade that from iOS 5.0.1. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And then also hit that share button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, hit that subscribe button as well. So thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you real soon in the next one.